everyone! Today we are taking a look at I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Uh, when the story was originally published, I Am Legend, it was in the 1950s. It was originally only published as a short, like, 160-page type book. These days, I Am Legend is published in a short story collection, as is with my edition here as well. I liked the cover of this one um, out of the ones I saw on the shelf at my bookstore, so I chose this. Um, there are uh, 11 short stories total. It is named after the first and longest story in the collection. I Am Legend follows a man named Robert Neville. He's the last, sur uh, he is, as far as he is aware, the only survivor of a pandemic that ended up uh, killing a lot of people, and those that didn't die became vampires. A lot of people who were infected even prior to dying ended up coming back from the dead as well. So there were the living vampires and the dead vampires. And um, I can't remember offhand if there was a way to differentiate between the two. He made a home for himself that covered all his basic necessities. And during the day he would go out and he would hunt and kill uh, of the vampires he could find. And then during the night, he would stay locked up indoors because then they would all come out and they would all surround his house. And, you know, he would just wait it out. You know, there were, there were those who would uh, try to um, break his door down, try to throw rocks at his windows to shatter them. Uh, there was one guy that used to be his neighbor that would keep, you know, shouting his name and asking him to come outside. So uh, that was uh, mildly amusing, but there is uh, there really, it, it is a very serious story. There's nothing apparent supernatural about them. And what the traits that they do have, although a lot of them line up with how vampires are in a lot of fiction, like allergy to garlic, doesn't come out in the sunlight, blah, blah, blah. He decides there, ha there has to be some kind of scientific explanation for all of it. And so he begins to uh, take samples and study and stuff because he himself is immune. Time has proven that he is immune to the virus. So between his own um, immunity and the research he does, it's his goal to try and find a cure for the virus. So I'm not going to go anything else because anything else would basically be a spoiler for the story, whether you've seen the movie or read the book. I will say this, though. Um, the movie is based on the book, but it takes a lot of liberties and is very different. There is a lot that is different between like Neville as a character and what goes on and how the story ends. So if you've watched the movie only and you have never read the book, I will tell you right now, it does not turn out the same way. It does not end the same way. Robert Neville as a character himself is also not the same. So don't think you know everything just by seeing the movie. It's far from it. A lot of people who review I Am Legend, from what I've noticed by watching YouTubers as well as uh, reading reviews online on Goodreads, a lot of them only focus on the story I Am Legend itself and don't talk about any of the other short stories in the collection, which I think is a disservice, personally. Because, especially as someone who, if you've been watching the channel for a bit, you know I'm not typically a horror person in general. It's not my thing. But, the... Like I said, there are 11 short stories total. One is I Am Legend, so the other 10, though not anywhere near as long as I Am Legend, they are all pretty good. They all, uh, they're all written really well. Um, there wasn't a single story in the collection I did not like. So that alone is a plus, because with the variety of stories in here, I thought for sure there'd be one I would at least dislike or even hate, but they're all good. They're all good. It's a testament to Richard Matheson as a writer. There was a, 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 quite a decent variety of stories. They were all, they all had, with the exception of I Am Legend, which was obviously more scientifically based in order to ground in reality more. But the other ones, the other stories in the collection did have some kind of supernatural element to it. So it wasn't all strictly science-based horror. Um, 
which, which is good because you, you got to have that kind of thing with horror too. And I will echo what I said with Dracula with this book in that, and especially with this one even more so because of the variety of stories and the difference between all of them. They all had their similarities, of course. There were themes that were similar between them. A lot of the stories seemed to tackle not just supernatural stuff that that's a given but more how people especially seemingly normal people can become monstrous in different ways and not all of it is obvious and some of it some of them know that that's what they are some of them don't some of them, and you know some of them relish in it some of them don't and it, it's, it's quite interesting to read. This book, as a result of the themes and how it's written, all the stories in it, it, like Dracula, changed my perception of how I think of horror as a genre. Because, again, I used to think of horror as just shock value, and although Dracula steered me away from that, seeing this seeing this and seeing a variety of different takes made it very easy for me to discern. It's more like tackling specific topics in a certain way that can make your heart race and it can pull on you a little bit like that and you're like oh my god what's gonna happen but it doesn't necessarily frighten you or at least it didn't frighten me. So that I appreciated. Uh, this is a really good collection, and I mean, it, it's only ten ninety nine Canadian, eight ninety nine American. So I mean, this is it's it's very good, very cheap. You, it's it's popular, so you can find it literally anywhere. And I will echo my Goodreads rating of four out of five stars because I think it's well worth it. It wasn't so good that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a five star book, but. It was good enough that it. I this is a very good recommendation, very high recommendation from me. If you're someone who's not really drawn to horror, but wants to experience a, a variety of horror stories that are not usually built on the shock value, then this, this is what you should be looking for. This, I feel, is an essential read for anybody. And uh, I look forward to discussing this book with you guys in the comments. I think, I think it's good. I think it's really good. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that review was very informative to you. And uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.